Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord one more time. Amen. Amen. Can we stand for a word of prayer? Amen. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Let us bow. Gracious and merciful Father, we thank you for another day. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We give all praise unto the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Father, forgive us of all of our sins, everything we have said in word, deed, or thought. Father, help us to guard our hearts, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, as we come to give you praise, honor, and glory for another blessed opportunity to be in the house of prayer one more time. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for waking us and starting us on our way. Father, we thank you for clothing us in our right minds. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you that we are blessed way above and beyond so many god in the name of jesus because you have brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light in the name of jesus that's why we lift our savior up we thank you for salvation we thank you for setting the captives free oh god in the name of jesus we plead the blood upon our community god we plead the blood upon our church, God. Father, we thank you right now for a new life, church of faith. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior, mighty counselor, the Prince of Peace, the world of salvation, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We invite your spirit to come on in, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, work on us right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tear down the walls, God. Tear down the divisions, God. Tear down our own thoughts, God. In the name of Jesus, we give you the praise, God. We thank you for our pastor. We thank you for our first lady. We thank you for the first family, God. We thank you right now, God, for all our brothers and sisters that has made their way out to the house of prayer one more time, God. We thank you for those that are on Zoom, God. In the name of Jesus, if there is any hindering spirit right now, we rebuke it right now. In the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, don't forsake the assembly of the church. We was on pause for a while, but now God has blessed us to be back in the house of prayer one more time. In the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, faith come by him and him by the word of God. For he have anointed a man of God for to bring forth the word of God. For we know the word is truth, and the truth has set us free, God. The truth has put us on the right path, God. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood upon all our unsaved loved ones, God. In the name of Jesus, for all my kids, God. In the name of Jesus, we bind that evil force that is in them 
right there, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you right there. And we are crying out, save God, save Jesus, save Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Save God, save in our household, God, for your word said if we can save. Yeah, 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 yeah. We stand on your word, God. We stand on your word, God. We stand on your word, God. We are expecting our unsaved Lord word to come on in. We are calling them blessed, blessed, and delivered right now in the name of Jesus. We are not going to take down Satan, but we rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. Let them go right now. Let them go right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 For the time is getting nigh. The time is drawing to an end, God. The handwriting is on the wall, God. We see that the Lord is soon to return. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Save my babies, God. Save my loved ones, God. Save the Lord. Save the Lord. Save the Lord. Save Jesus. Save Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. Lord, you are sweeter than the honey on the honeycomb. It ain't no time to be looking back. But our destination is to make it into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The Lord, He is sweet and sweet. We know. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And all the people of God said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. 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 Come on, stand on your feet and give God some praise. Come on. And give God this praise. Hallelujah. 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 It's no time. It's no time to look back. But we got the test towards the mark. We got to keep on. Where I said. We got to keep on. Where I said. Come on. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. It's enough for us in here to give God the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
coming together in corporate worship, there should be some things that are torn down in the spirit. How many of you believe that? But God needs the people to fight. God needs people who are ready and willing to fight. Amen? Come on, if you're willing to fight this morning, just begin to lift up your hands. I know there's a pool in the spirit, but we take authority over every spirit that is unlike the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah! And we begin to pull down, we begin to cast down those things that are trying to hold our praise up in the spirit realm. Amen! Anybody ready to fight? Yes! Oh, yes! No music. This is how I fight my battle. Let the Spirit teach you. This is how I fight my battle. Let the Spirit teach you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. Yes, God. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. Come on. This is how I fight my battles. Come on. This is how I fight my battles. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. Come on. This is how I fight my battles. That's how you fight. I need some people begin to praise him. Don't just watch, but come on. This is how you fight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. in worship. We don't fight carnal. We don't fight with physical guns. We don't fight with carnal words. But we fight every battle through praise and worship. And the angels encamp around about those that fear the Lord. So the Lord is present. His angels are present. So Lord, today, we thank you for everybody here. We thank you for this word you've given me. I give you all the praise, the credit, the glory, and the honor. Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. 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 One more time, not for pastor, but for Jesus. Come on, shout glory. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout this is how I fight my battles. Woo! This is how I fight my battles. Hey, hey, hey. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. Oh yes. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how. It may look like. Thank you, 
Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right before you take your seats, right before you take your seats, I was looking in the mirror this morning, getting ready. And the Spirit of the Lord said, shoot from the hip. <laughs> you know, when you shoot from the hip, that means you, you're not even going to pull it out of the hole. You just... Come on, everybody. Come on. How you shoot from the hip? Say, Jesus. Jesus. Just quickly. Jesus. Shoot from the hip. Come on, y'all. How we fight our battles is not corner, but it's in the name of Jesus. Come on, so I say, in the name of Jesus. Come on, and shoot from the hip. Hallelujah. Pull your Holy Ghost weapon out and shoot from the hip. Come on, shout glory. Oh, come on, shout hallelujah. Shout thank you, Jesus. Come on, y'all can be seated. My, 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 my. Come on, thank God for our praise team. Come on. Come on, they did a great job. Come on. Come on, thank God for our praise dancers, our praise leaders. Come on, thank God for Minister Noah today. Dr. Lucas today, Brother Guy today. Thank God today. Everybody here. Come on, thank God for our First Lady. Amen. She's sweet I know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> God is good. Thank God for everybody here. And uh, today we're in this memorial weekend to remember those that went before us. Amen. Amen. To honor their memories. Come on, bow your heads. Just for a few moments, let's just honor those that went before us. Come on. Let's thank God for the sacrifice. Thank God for their impact in your life. Come on, thank God. For all the military men and women that gave the ultimate price, they, they gave their lives, and we're, we're honoring them this weekend. We're honoring our own family members, and some of you will maybe go out to the cemetery where their bodies lay, and you'll take a moment just to honor their memory. Hallelujah. It's an emotional time, and, and some of us will still shed some tears, but let's remember their sacrifice. Everything that they gave to help us, let's remember what they did for us. We know that at the top of the list is Jesus. Let's remember his sacrifice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's shout again. Glory! Shout hallelujah! Shout thank you, Jesus. But the, the memorial weekend, holiday, is to remember those who sacrifice their lives for us. Amen. 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 And I want us to really understand about this holiday and its original beginning. 1865, one month after the slaves, former slaves, were freed they started this holiday. 1865. Come on. Just a month after their freedom, they honored all of the men and probably some women too that sacrificed from the north to the south. 
for your freedom. Come on in this room. Hallelujah. They sacrificed their lives, African Americans, for your freedom. They sacrificed their lives, I'm going to say it again, white and black died in the Civil War. Do you know it was 620,000 that died for your freedom to break the bondage of slavery from this country? Let's remember this weekend their sacrifice. Amen? All of those who went before us. We're very fortunate here in Danville that we have a VA hospital which provides us with a military cemetery. Amen. Amen. We don't, you know, a lot of us just take it for granted, but these cemeteries are not all over the, the country. They're just in certain places, and we're fortunate. Amen. And if you've ever been out there over the Memorial Weekend, you will notice that at every headstone there's a flag. To remember their sacrifice. Matter of fact, any military men and women we got in here today, stand up so we can honor you just for a few moments. Anybody here today from the military? Come on, let's thank God for both of these that serve Brother Taylor. God bless you today. Brother Moses today. Sister Amber today. God bless you on today. We thank you for your service. Amen. The Memorial Weekend is to remember those, not just in the military, but everybody else who sacrificed their life for you. We are standing on the shoulders of our parents and our grandparents and our great-grandparents and all the way back to Calvary. Come on, y'all. So today we want to, you know, remember, but we don't want to remember in a sense that we don't have no hope. But because of their living is the reason why we living. It's because of their sacrifices. I need to say it today. One of Satan's best tricks is to make you believe you got it worse than the folks that came before you. Amen. See, when you believe your life is worse than the folks before you, and even possibly folks around you, that's how he's able to get you to give up. That's how he's able to make you think that God is some, some kind of way unrighteous and unfair. But the truth of the matter, don't nobody get, a, don't nobody get offended, but... <laughs> We cream puffs. Amen. It's, a, it's, it's, it's easy uh, to discern and to even hear people say, oh, we don't want to talk about, uh, you know, what them people went through. Well, we need to remember their sacrifice. We need to remember it's because of them that we are here. Come on, y'all. In, 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 in 2021, May the 30th, we are blessed because, you know, we got two uh, uh, thermoses in here and Brother Wright is responsible for our cooling and, and air systems. But how many of them folks that came before us didn't have a honey well? Come on in. We want to try to, we're going to try to make it out that we got it so much tougher. But them folks did not have no central air. Man, they didn't have no carpet like we got and, and these nice padded seats like we got. Come on here. We got to remember that them folks really had it hard. I want to think about those that came before me that pulled a cotton bag from sun up to sun down. Over at the Baylor location today, Minister Williams, there was three little young people sitting on the, uh, near the front of the church, and I asked them, do you know what an outhouse is? And they said, no. And this one little girl didn't respond, and I said, young lady, uh, uh, no. I said, oh, and she got an attitude like, leave me alone, too. What is an outhouse? 
house. An outhouse is an outdoor toilet. <laughs> we need to remember, them folks didn't have it easy. Can I get a witness? <laughs> oh, I used an outhouse before. And it's spooky. Especially if it's at night. Ain't nothing but a hole in the ground and a piece of wood that you sit on. And how many know it wasn't no shaman? It was some old newspapers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I gotta help some of y'all next time you wake up in the middle of the night and you gotta go to the bathroom. I want you to think about, yeah, you got a few steps to take. What about 27 degrees and you had to go out to the outhouse? Come on, y'all. How many of us understand uh, that uh, they had a thing they called a slop jar? What was a slop jar? It was a little thing that you used instead of going outdoors. But somebody say, in the morning you had to dump it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he, he got us so that we are complaining and murmuring and we don't even know the sacrifice of just a survival. What about, what about uh, uh, when you got ready to eat and, and you had to go out, uh, ladies, and you, not the husband, because he was still out in the field somewhere and you had to go chop some wood because I'm getting ready to get to dinner after you didn't came out of the field. Come on now. Because what? There wasn't no gas on this stove. It was wood driven, which means you go get the wood and drive it into the bottom of the stove. Come on, y'all. Oh, yeah. You want some water? No, 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 no. Ain't no running water in here. You, you had to go out. And you had to prime the pump to get some water. Come on, I'm trying to get us to really be more grateful instead of having so much attitude. Come on here. <laughs> oh yeah, you wanted some Kentucky Fried Chicken? Wasn't no such thing. It was that little chicken on the yard that knew you were getting ready to kill him and it take off. Like, wait, wait, uh-uh, wait, wait, uh-uh. <laughs> the chicken had enough sense to run. <sighs> Come on, y'all. There's so much more that we have in 21 that they didn't have. Come on, let's remember the sacrifice. Oh, I need some black people to remember that in your grandparents and great-grandparents' lives, they would whip them if they caught them reading. And we battle with our children to get them to go to school where it was illegal for black people to go to school. I can't get the first lady, Deacon Cooper, to watch. Uh, I just started, I watched the first episode last night, Underground. Underground is one of those slave movies about how it was for slaves. And Sister Mills, I'm going to sleep, good night. I'm not watching that. My, 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 my. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we don't know. We ain't got it nowhere near the way that they had it. Come on, somebody. We got to be we gotta be able to uh, remember, uh, you know, yes, our immediate loved ones, but we need to understand that our immediate loved ones that went on before us had it much harder than we have it today. That's white folks and black folks had to chase the chicken. Had to pump the water. Had to build the fire. Come on here. Everybody back then had to work just in order to eat. Come on, y'all. Oh, I know young people don't like, oh, here they go. And they had to walk to school. And then it was cold. They don't want to hear none of them. Somebody say, set their little bottoms down. And tell them, let me tell you where we come from. So when you get this little attitude, I need to remind you that the folks that went before you made it possible for you to be here. And the reason why I won't let you be a cream puff because you got in your genes evidence that you come from good stock. Come on here. You come from folks that worked and they went through everything they went through. And that's why you're here. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Why do I vote every time I get an opportunity to vote? Because I remember them folks who could not vote. They didn't have a right to vote. And do you know what? I remember also, y'all, that uh, when I watched the civil rights uh, 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 tapes and they show how that they would get ready to try to stand up for the right to vote, they knew the dogs was coming. They knew the water holes was coming. They knew the billy clubs were coming. Come on, let's remember their sacrifice. You know why? Do you know why I vote? I vote because I want to say I'm honoring your memory. I'm honoring the memory of all of those who could not vote. I refuse to let the devil and anybody tell me it won't make no difference. I don't care if it don't make a difference. I'm voting. But that's another lie. Your vote counts. That's another reason why, why you think they wouldn't let people vote. We got all kind of crazy going on right now with the Congress trying to make it harder for you to vote. Why? Because when you vote, you change the laws. Hallelujah. I think it's in Georgia. They just passed the voting restrictions that say if I bring you a glass of cold water while you waiting in the line, you can go to jail. They put that in the last write-up. Your vote means something. And if for nothing else, all the people that went before you, they suffered for you and I to have this right. Amen. Amen. I want to even say this. I want to say this to the young people. The reason why I don't like you to look all crazy in your dress code. Because them folks were getting ready to have dogs put on them while they had their suit on. Well, they had a towel. Come on, somebody. The women had on dresses. Come on. They had their little purse on their side. And they were, they were getting ready to go and have all kinds of, oh, my God, things happen to them. But what did they do? They had pride. Come on, somebody. Our young people need to be taught how to have pride in yourself. Them people didn't have nothing. But they look like I have pride in my appearance. Amen care nothing about what they say is the end time fashion. We need to teach our young people how to present themselves. They didn't have nothing but they had respect for themselves. No, I'm going to be in trouble today but I'll be in jail with a suit on. Come on somebody. I'll be in jail with my dress tore but I'll have my dress on. And I ain't saying nothing wrong with pants. I was just trying to make a point. You can wear pants, ladies, but they all not be a, a pole dancing pants. Not only your husband know what you got, everybody else know. Y'all quiet now. Some of y'all go home and throw away some of them pants. You know you got COVID leftover anyway. What is COVID leftover? More weight. All them Lay's potato chips. I'm talking about men and women. People rolling out from COVID and it's like, really? We know what you've done for the last year and a half. You had more hoagies than a little bit. You, hoagies and a pop and some Lay's potato chip and a turn the channel. Amen. We got to remember that, oh, come on, somebody. We even had it better doing COVID than they would have had 50 years ago. What are we talking about? Memorial Weekend is to remember the sacrifice of those who went before us. How is it that we are convinced that we got it so much worse? Boy, they would have loved to have a job, pay $15, $20, $25 an hour, and all you got to do is push a couple buttons. Just got to show up. Y'all quiet now, all y'all just got them jobs. Mad when you go in there, because what? I got to go to work. To you ain't working, you just showing up. Machine doing all the work. Come on here. Think about how them people all down 
through the years. Oh my God, my late father-in-law worked at General Motors. My dad worked at General Motors. It was a, a steel a foundry. In the General Motors that was right here in Danville, it was so hot in the summertime that the men would pass out. But when they pass out, they take them outdoors and they revive them and they throw them back in. No, you don't, you ain't going home. You, you breathe it again, get on back in there. My little father-in-law, he's a little bitty man, but he was an iron pour. They take iron and heat it up till it's liquid. And then they take that hot iron and they have what they call a ladle and they would pour it into a mold. But my little father-in-law did this so many years that the heat from the iron drew all the marrow out of his bones. And he became so brittle he had to quit because he could hardly move. My dad worked there, but he didn't just work there. He had to leave there and get on the old truck and haul before he went to work. Come on here. He had to go and, and get coal and dump coal for people. He had to cut grass. Why? Because they had to work and then they had to work again. And some of us don't even want to work one time a day. Come on, let's remember the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Y'all see it all over town. Hiring, hiring, hiring. We're hiring. And all the people that won't go to work going, boo, I ain't going to work. They looking for people to go to work. And oh my God, our ancestors, those folks that went ahead of us, wish they could have got a job. And especially the kind of jobs they got now. Push a couple buttons. A living wage. Everybody not working at a sub uh, living wage. But a lot of folks can get some of the best jobs and won't even show up. What am I talking about? We got to remember that sacrifice. So we don't be around here murmuring and complaining. We got to remember what they did. They honoring. You know, this, how many of y'all in this room that don't do certain things because you remember what your mama said? There's, just certain, there's certain things I just won't do because my mama still talks to me. I think I'm hearing her voice because I remember she said, Tommy. Huh? Them old folks is still ministering to us. Come on, y'all. They, they, you know, because of honoring their memory, their legacy, it's just certain things I just won't do. Even before I got saved, I had enough respect never to walk into my mama's house and ever say a cuss word, ever pull out a cigarette, ever try to smoke a joint. And oh my God, come on y'all, because of those people had that kind of life that you said, I can't do it to her. I can't do it to her. They didn't sacrifice everything. Me and Sister Miller have three children. My mama had 14 children. A lot of y'all parents and grandparents had a whole lot of children and they sacrifice everything for their babies. Can I get a witness? You better shut our mouths complaining about, oh God, it's so hard. Oh my God. Anybody know what a number three tub is? A number three tub is that tub that they use to wash your clothes. They had a, a what they call that boy? A washboard. And they No, no, wasn't no Maytag. This this was the Maytag right here. And then they rinse it over here and then they put it back in. Somebody said the wind better blow or everything gonna stay wet. <laughs> the sun better shine because they had to hang it out on the line. Huh? Come on, y'all. And I mean though you'd be embarrassed when the neighbors would see some of the stuff you was hanging on the line. You say, What the devil is this? Y'all need to throw them drawers away. Them right there is just too holy and ain't been to church. Uh-uh. What's all them stains and stuff? You gotta go back to the number three tub. What's everything they did was work? And we get mad because we got two or three loads of clothes that we gotta put in the washer, put in the dryer. Come on, y'all. We better 
me remember what happened what went on they sacrificed everything for us how many can testify when you were little even though you didn't have much it was clean you know they always say you better have some clean drawers on if something happened you better <laughs> they sacrificed so we didn't have all this name brand stuff but the Kmart stuff and the Kresge stuff oh it was clean I have one little cheap pair of tennis shoes and boy I keep them polished they was white they were popping but that was it these kids got five or six pair of tennis shoes and name brand clothes and they went to work nowhere oh I'm gonna do something to you if you don't go in there and put that in the Maytag what you talking about a dishwasher we were the dishwashers but no dishwasher you better get in there and wash them dishes and how many know it ain't over until everything is dry and put away and you better sweep my floor you better mop it they coming through there oh you better not go get in that bed get on in the bed you got some help to get back up <laughs> you halfway done my kitchen shut up <laughs> Somebody said, we're going to remember all oh, their sacrifice. How many can testify that your mama could make food come and you went in there and you couldn't find nothing, but next thing you know, you're smelling something. Like, what is this? It was food. Where did she get this food from? Glory to God. Most of us around here today trying to figure out where we going to eat. Just look straight ahead, all y'all. <laughs> Them people got, oh my God. How many can remember Saturday night the pots would be jumping? They cook on Saturday night. They go on to church, come home, warm it up, everybody eat. Then they're going back to YPWW. They're going to the young women's Christian. Uh, how many know? We got to remember them folks told us some morals. Am I right? Little girls were taught to run from boys, not run to them. Run from him until he put a ring on your finger. Don't run to him. That's what they taught. Am I right, young ladies? They taught our young women how to be women. This is prom season time. I dare any one of y'all let y'all daughter ask the boy to the prom. Got no business asking no boy to the prom. Worse than that, they not only asking him, they are also paying for the limousine, they paying for his truck, they paying for the collage, and they paying for the hotel. He just walking, girl, you, you want me to take you to the prom? What you got for me? Well, I got, I got you a tuxedo from Cenos, and uh, I got my mom and daddy to rent us a limo, and uh, I... Your daughter ain't got no business ever begging a boy to go to the prom. He won't her on his arm. Let him pay. Spoil but don't even have no desire to pay for her because he's so spoiled because he ain't been taught how to respect a woman. I'm going to say this. We are training our boys. Our boys are in trouble because they haven't even been taught how to treat a woman. I'm talking about some of them. Y'all don't get mad and offended here. You doing a good job. Just say amen to the preacher instead of rolling your eyes up here at me like, he ain't, he ain't talking to me. I ain't said your name. <laughs> no little boy, no grown man ought to ever be sitting down in a room where a woman is standing. Am I right? No boy should sit down. If he look around and there's a woman standing, he should go to her and say, you can have my seat. That's what we need to do. We need to train them how to honor women again. Got to remember, oh, 
old school, you absolutely would never put your hands on a girl. Everybody in the neighborhood gonna whoop you. You you did what? Yeah, I pushed her down. You getting ready to get smooth knocked out. Amen. We gotta teach our young people how to what? Reverence God. Don't give them no option. It's not an option. Teach them how to remember. How many know we went to Sunday school? We went to morning service. We went back after we ate. We, Sunday was all day church. Oh, I know some people right now saying, that's why I don't go to church. That's why you in jail too. That's why you got all them babies and you don't know which one more got you on there and you on more and you telling everybody on more and more said, Are you sure he's the father? I'm 110 percent, and it's the baby's not here. Ah! <laughs> Embarrass yourself on national TV. The baby's not his. Oh yeah, the guy that ain't my baby. Sir, the baby's yours. <laughs> National TV. How many times have you been here, lady? This is my sixth time. You so, you so, you so short in the brain, you gonna get embarrassed on TV six times? You will keep coming back. The baby ain't his. Well, I got another in the brain. <laughs> Come on, y'all. We got to remember. How many remember old school when girls got pregnant? It wasn't nothing to be running around in the street having all these big old events. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. No. <laughs> Woo, I'm getting in trouble, Minister Noah. We got a reveal party going on. Where the rings at? Well, no, we ain't married. And it's not so that the girl got to be embarrassed, but I told my son Everett, he traveled singing. I said, son, you make a baby anywhere in the world, that's your wife. Now, I don't know, but my son's testimony was, daddy, I didn't touch nobody till I got married. Because he knew what I meant. I married his mama because I was fast on the draw. Pow! Oh, wait. And let me make sure you understand, I didn't marry because we got pregnant. I married her because she's still my ride and live chick. How many of you remember? I got to get us out of here. How many remember old school we used to go steady? You knew your girlfriend before you ever got her to slow down enough for you to even hold her hand. You get to touch her hand. You're like, Lord, you let me touch her hand. <sighs> It was wonderful. <laughs> got to teach our young men. They got to be responsible for their actions. If they won't pay for their baby, then that means they need to ride a bicycle at 45 years old. <laughs> what do you mean, Pastor Miller? Call the court and tell them that's their baby and they won't pay their child support. Don't be sitting around here acting like, I'm going to show him. I ain't going to ask him for nothing. Your baby ought to get up out of that stroller and slap you. Mama, I need some pampers. You'd have me in these for six hours. Coach, you ain't got no, you ain't got no more. I got all this rash on me, and you won't go down to the courthouse and make daddy pay for me some pampers. Y'all quiet now. You want to be proud at the wrong time. At the expense of your babies. Make that man pay. If he lay, make him pay. Y'all quiet now. This is real church. Y'all, y'all, we, we got to remember it, it was a, uh, oh yeah, my grandpa, he'd been gone a long time, uh, Minister Christine, and my grandpa on my daddy's side said, the sheriff came uh, one Saturday afternoon, one evening, and the sheriff had the girl I got pregnant in the car. And there was a shotgun in the car too. 
and her daddy was in the car. And said, so we went up in the hills, and when we came down, we was married. <laughs> oh, no, you, you don't get to violate my daughter and walk away. Come on here, old school. That daddy coming looking for you, buddy. Y'all quiet now. Y'all just want to say we got it rough. No, we don't have it nowhere near as tough as it was. Come on, let's honor their memories today. Come on, let's honor their sacrifice on the day. Them people gave everything so we could be here. They sacrificed everything. And we're going to sit here and say, I ain't going to school and I ain't going to learn how to read and I ain't going to get one of them easy jobs. Woo, hit you in the top of the head. Amen. We are not, we are not worse than what them people went through. We got it much better. The only reason we in trouble, we won't stop sinning. Y'all ain't gonna hear what I had to say. We won't stop the crazy. I'm gonna get y'all out of here. But how many know they're coming out of Corona so they can sin again? Oh, they flock in the Florida to do what? They run in the Florida so they can sin. They all on the internet, all over the Facebook, got their clothes on. Just come out of a pandemic and you ain't learned nothing. You going right back to where the devil can kill you. Man, Sister Miller coming across the highway from Champaign today on the news in Miami last night. Three guys jumped out of a van. The kids was at a party and they just got out and sprayed them. Shot 20 of them. Two of them dead. One critical. Why is it there? Y'all listen, listen to me. You and I better set our houses in order. These people are coming out of Corona more buck wild than when they went in. They ain't talking about running to the church. A lot of folks are not listening to me over the internet and they're not in person service because when they come out of Corona, they still don't want Jesus. Still don't want to live right. I'm going to keep telling y'all, there is no repentance on Judgment Day. There is no repentance on Judgment Day. You don't get to go to Judgment Day and then say, I'm sorry. Somebody say it with me, I'm sorry. You better say it over here. You better repent over here. Because judgment day is not the day that you get to cry your way in. Been to court enough to know the judge don't care nothing about your crime. When the preponderance of the evidence said you did the crime, he get low in the seat. Because he don't know they might start shooting when I give them this time. If they got any kind of way to get to him. But they don't care your mama rolling on the floor, everybody crying, them folks giving out time like they giving out what? Yeah. Yeah, like candy. Here you go. What? 20 years, 30 years. Come on, y'all. We are in a time that is scary to me because I would have thought we would have came out of Corona getting closer to God. But all indications, they said in this last six months, we've had so many, I think it's over 250 mass killings in America. 250. There's so many now, they don't, even, they don't even put them up on the headline news or nothing. There's so many of them, they can't keep up with them. Somebody went out there in California to their workplace and killed nine of their co-workers. Somebody said, you better be saved. You better be saved, new life. You better be saved. Y'all want some scriptures? Okay, so we, we can go. John 15, 13. Ezra. John 15 and 13. Hallelujah. John 15 and 13, and the word of God says, Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. <sighs> Come on, let's remember they sacrificed. How many know they, they died? 620,000 to free the slaves. They died so you could vote. They died. They worked. They worked hard. 
hard. They worked hard so you can have this little cream puff life now. Hallelujah. They lay down their lives. And the Bible said no greater gift than any man will give than to lay down his life. Hallelujah. For his friends. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's get another one. Hebrews 12 and 1. Look at this. We'll let y'all go. Amen. We got to go sit at somebody's table that already cooked. <laughs> y'all ain't going to say nothing. Just look straight ahead. Uh-huh. Amen. Praise the Lord. 12. <clears throat> And one, wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside what? Every, Every what? Every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Come on, y'all. How many know we got so many folks that showed us the right way? Can I get a witness? All them people way back in Jesus' day, all the way up to your grandpa and great-grandpa and grandma, all the way up to your mom and dad, those folks are witnesses that you can make it. Because they made it with an outhouse. They made it with a pump outdoors. They made it with chopping wood and chasing chickens. They made it with pulling cotton. Come on, somebody. They made it working at a place called General Motors. They made it. How many women had to go in somebody else's house and cook and clean and then come home and cook and clean? <laughs> How many of the mothers even had to nurse somebody else's baby with their breasts? Whew. Amen. We got so many examples. Somebody said, I can make it. I can make it. Come on, somebody say, I, I can make it. Somebody say, I can see a little clearer now in the past than, than broke it down for me so I can quit having a pity party. Come on here. No, no, you always just remember our mom is gone and dad is gone. We want to remember that, but we also want to remember that they sacrificed for us. Grandma and grandpa are gone, but they sacrificed for us. Husbands and wives may have gone on, but they sacrificed. So you and I can be sitting in this nice place today. Come on here. Hallelujah. Look at all them beautiful cars out there. Man, them folks wish they had a car like you got. But no, oh, we complaining. Them people had cars that didn't start but half the time. And they had to prime it. Let's get some gas up to the carburetor. <laughs> We so cream puff, we don't even have to turn the switch no more. Just push a button. Then won't speak to nobody with your proud self. You ought to be so humble that you don't have to go through what your folks went through. You don't have to live in a house that don't have no running water. Amen. Going from room to room because you got so many flat screens. I ain't watching TV with you. How many remember you had one TV with some wire pliers? Some of y'all young kids, ask your mama when you go home with wire pliers. Wasn't no remote control, it was wire pliers. How many boys remember, go up on the roof and turn it. Be scared, but get out of that boy, turn it into them. <laughs> Wait a minute, you turn it too far, turn it back. Right there, right there, right there. <laughs> now you got 17,000 channels. I can't find nothing down here to watch. <laughs> One channel, two channels, that was it. Midnight, everything went off. Go to bed. It just went fuzz on you. <laughs> Come on, 
Tell somebody, say, remember. remember. The sacrifice. Come on, let's, let's, let's go. Some, we got to go further. We got to go further. What time of day is it? Yeah, ooh, man, it's late. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Hebrews 11 and 35. Hebrews 11 and 35. And this is what it's saying, 11 and 35 of, of Hebrews. Uh -huh. It says, women will see their dead raised to life again. They had to go through that. And others were tortured. Come on, y'all. Not accepting deliverance. They, would, they refused to give up. Come on, y'all. They would not give up on their faith in God. They No, I'm not going to denounce God. I'm not going to denounce Christ. So they were tortured. Not accepting deliverance. And they might obtain a better resurrection. They said, that's all right. I'm going to just wait until the final resurrection. Hallelujah. And 36 says, and others had trial of, of cruel mocking. When you're a cream puff, can't nobody say nothing to you. You, you whoa. Just because you name the name of Christ don't mean nobody ought not talk about you. You name the name of Christ, that means they're going to talk about you. You old church goer, yes I am. You believe in Jesus, yes I do. Hallelujah. The mocking in the score, uh, score, yeah. Yay, moreover, a bond and imprisonment. Some of them went to jail because they would not give up their faith. Come on, y'all. They were stoned. They, were, they, they stoned them because they would not give up their faith. They were sown asunder. What is that sown asunder? They cut them in half. They cut them in half because they said, if you don't denounce Jesus, we're going to cut you in half. And they were sold asunder and, and were tempted, were, were slain with the sword. They stabbed them because they wouldn't denounce Christ. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins and being destitute, afflicted and tormented. Y'all better come on here. Somebody said, remember their sacrifice. They made it possible for you and I. They did not give up their faith. They kept their faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Of whom the world was not worthy, they wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And it says, and all these, all having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. Somebody said they did everything they were supposed to do, and yet they did not receive the promise. They died believing. They kept on even though they didn't get what they had been praying for. So many of us walk away from God because as soon as God don't do what we say, hello, I'm out of here. God didn't lie to me. The Bible said God can't lie. It says that that means what? You need patience that you may obtain the promise. How many waiting on some I'm waiting on some promises. Hallelujah. I didn't get up from Corona, man. I got up more determined than ever to see his face one day. Hallelujah. I got up knowing it wasn't the Lord that put that disease on me, that virus on me. I know it was an attack from the enemy's camp, but my God gave me victory. Hallelujah. Don't give up new life. Keep remembering who went before you. Remember their sacrifice. Yes, Military men and women, they died all the way back to the Civil War for your freedom. Iraq, Kuwait, Afghanistan, Vietnam. Come on, y'all. They're still dying for your freedom. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And these all having, okay. Now, 40 says, God having provided some better things for us that they without us should not be made perfect. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm remembering that God made me some. How many remember God made you some promises? And that he said, your living is not in vain. Come on, y'all. He said, be not weary and well-doing for in due season you're going to reap if you faint not. Hallelujah. We should always pray, least we faint in our minds. 
Come on. Some of you were on morning glory yesterday. And we were praying, Lord, don't let us faint. God, don't let me get so overwhelmed and so, oh God, stressed out that I faint, God. Men ought to always pray. Somebody say, prayer is a stress remover. Come on, somebody. Prayer keeps you from committing suicide. Prayer keeps you from going back to the slump that God brought you out of. Prayer helps you to keep on teaching your children and keep on, oh my God, working on the marriage and, and wow, getting up going to that job on a Monday morning when you don't feel like it. You got to pray so you don't faint. Don't go back to the drinking and drugging. That ain't how you get through it. You pray your way through it. How many can remember those that went before us? They prayed their way through it. They didn't have nothing but God. They didn't have all these convenient things we had. All they had was God. Rest on your feet. Look at this last one. Look at Mark. Cause I gotta finish with Jesus. My, 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 my. Somebody say, remember his sacrifice. Remember that, oh my God. 16, I believe it is. Is it 16? Hallelujah. 14 and 64. 14 and 64. Look what it says right here. It says, thank you, Lord. Is that 64? No, 65. And it says, and some began to spit on him. Who did they spit on? Jesus. Somebody said, remember his sacrifice. Now listen now. Jesus was God. They spit in the face of God. God created them in their life and their existence was all because of him. And they, in his face. Somebody said, remember his sacrifice. Some of us better not have nobody even act like they didn't loosely spit on us. Just talking. Some of them ain't got no teeth in their head and they, they, they spit just, I mean, anyway. It was an accident, but intentionally they spit on Jesus. Intentionally they spit on him and covered his face and to buffle him. Somebody said they pushing on him. They was hitting him. They covered his face. Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody said, remember his sacrifice. That's why. How many can say because of Jesus? Because of Jesus. Whew. That's why I'm hanging on. Y'all hanging on? Anybody staying in, staying, staying in this fight and, and in the sense of I'm staying with Jesus? You know why? I got to honor his memory. I don't want Jesus' death to be in vain. I want him to have to been spit on and I walk away like nothing happened. They buffled him. They say unto him prophesy. Somebody said they went to signifying. Oh yeah, you say you the son of God, then get yourself down. Go ahead and prophesy who just spit on you. Who did just push you? Somebody said he never said a mumbling word. Hey, somebody remember. Let us remember the day as we are in this memorial weekend. Remember the family. Remember the military. Ah, please don't leave Jesus out. The greatest sacrifice for you and I. Hallelujah. And the servants did strike him. And with the palms of their hand, they slapped him. Come on, y'all. Come on. Sister Kelly, come up, please. Oh, we're going to let y'all go. I, 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 I need to hear this. Hallelujah. You got a mic? Come on up, get a mic. Oh, you know this. You old school. You know this. Hey. Come on, let's just worship for a moment. We're going to go home, but come on. Hey! Oh, hey. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yes, Lord! I can face tomorrow. I bet you can face it. I bet you can lift your hands and say, Lord, because you live. Be what I'm going through, Lord. I can't give up. 
I just can't. I can't give up. I remember my mama. I remember my daddy. I remember. Is God. Sacrifice. I remember. I remember what they did. I accept Jesus. Come on, let's do it again. I accept Jesus. See, I'm never leading y'all without getting saved again or rededicating again because I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to miss heaven for nothing. I don't want to miss. Come on, somebody. Say, Lord, forgive me for my murmuring and my complaining. I don't have it harder than the folks that went before me and they made it. They suffered greater than what I've been suffering. I refuse to let that lie make me quit. I forgive everyone. If they did what they did to Jesus, I cannot say, I don't know why they treat me the way they treat me. I got to remember what they did to my Lord. So when they won't call me and they won't associate with me and they talk about me, but because he lives, come on somebody, say, Holy Spirit, come into my life. Start the fire burning again. Cleanse me of every filthy thing that would be in the defilement of what Christ died for. Come on, everybody, say, Lord, I thank you for saving me, for forgiving me, for cleansing me, for restoring me, for baptizing me, for saving me. Come on, all over the room, begin to give God some praise. Hallelujah. You at home, begin to give God some praise. Hallelujah. We can really let y'all go, so just stay on your feet. Sister Marsha, you got a couple announcements? You don't? Okay. I thought I'd send them to you, but maybe I didn't. And uh, they were about uh, uh, Pastor Lestan Hoskins is going to have a free basketball opportunity for all the kids that want to participate. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. 
I didn't make it plain, but there was one more. Uh, Brother Lloyd Randall said there's going to be a, a job fair at DAC for Quaker Oats jobs. Uh, wave your hand, Elder Danny. Ask any of them to talk to you after service and tell them how easy it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, it's a... <laughs> they tell me at Quaker Oats, the hardest part is showing up. And they got a lot of machines out there and you just push a few buttons and I think they start off by $14, $15 an hour Elder Odoms $14, $15 an hour yes come on up and talk to me Minister Odette you got another announcement come on come on y'all we going home it's the holiday weekend But how many, how many received the message today? Because he lives. Do y'all y'all really know the truth now, right? Them people really had it hard. Agency will provide three summer camps for middle school and high school kids. We're going to do two weeks of math and critical thinking, and then we'll do a week of college tours. Students that complete the camps, the three weeks of the camps, will have a $250 stipend for school. We would like to serve 150 kids that are income eligible for education talent search. So if you want any information on that, please see me. I'm all the way in the back. Uh, Sister Boyd, would you come up, please? Sister Carla Boyd. I know she don't want this. And y'all pray she come back next week. She's not trying to be on the spotlight, but I got a celebrator. Amen? I got a celebrator. Wow. And I want her to say what her job, new job title is, because I don't want to mess it up. Come on up here on the top with me. Let me get you on the camera. Make some folks mad. Last night, or last night, <laughs> last Monday, last Monday night, I was appointed by the City of Urbana City Council as the new Human Rights and Equity Officer for the City of Urbana. And I can honestly say it is in purpose. Walk, he walked with me through the entire process, which started back in, April, in October of 2020. And through it all, I just said, Lord, open the door if you want me to walk through it. And if you don't want me to walk through it, shut it tight because you know me. <laughs> and through each step, he just said, keep going. And so I did. And here I am. I had my first week this past week. Pray for me, y'all. I have no doubt, Sister Carla, you're going to do well. It's the human rights equity. Human rights and equity. Officer, meaning everybody going to get a fair shake because they got to go by Carla. We know how much she loves God and her commitment and her honesty. She's going to do everything she can to make sure people get a fair shake in life. Amen? How many of us will pray for her? Amen? Because when you stand standing for right, there's going to be some folks that are standing for wrong. Come on now. 
But we believe the God that we serve said he'll encamp angels all around about you. And he'll make your enemy your footstool. Uh, Sister Carla did 23 years. I said did. She was employed at DACC for 23 years. So she's been involved with this uh, support for people's air equity and fairness because she's on the diversity uh, board uh, over that department and she had other jobs there so I know they're missing her but we're glad for her promotion amen God bless you God bless you God bless you and I think it's I think it's this Saturday they have a high school graduation and it's going to be out on the field so let's pray against rain amen because if they can't be on the field Saturday, they'll have to be in the Civic Center on Sunday. But this is 150 years this year for Danville High School graduation. Come on, y'all. Wow. Dr. Giddes of the, the superintendent for District 118, she just was able through the dean of Eastern University to get a Grow You Own program started that our young people in Danville that are even at the 12th grade level will be offered an opportunity to get their teaching certification and those with associates and those with bachelors and we're growing our own and it's through the University of Illinois but it's by the uh, the help of our superintendent Dr. Alyssa Lisa Giddes and so this summer they're taking some of our children and some of you that may have a high schooler that would want to go that's a senior they can go to uh, Dak also, I mean Dak, they can go to Eastern this summer and uh, it's a two or three weeks program, they're paying for everything and they can get an experience of being on the college campus and they get three credits, three college credits, many opportunities of making themselves available, community action going to give them money just to learn, come on y'all, our children don't have to sit around being idle this summer, they can get education, they can have opportunities to better themselves. Amen? Who's coming up? Who's coming up? I've been up. God bless y'all at home. God bless you. God bless you. Thank God for digging loud. Amen. You see how you're walking real spry? That's what you do when you retire. You're like, hey! Amen. Let's give God a hand clap for the word of God.